everyone. Welcome back to another week of The Guest Life. So not too much to catch you up on for this week. I had a really good mummy break. I went into town for the weekend, ended up going to the big city, having a great time. The trip in by snowmobile and the trip back by snowmobile, a few of you were curious about. So I did do the trip into town. It was pretty cold. It was about, I don't know, minus 40, minus 45 with the wind. And because I was wearing my glasses, I pulled dumb and I didn't put my contacts on. I was fogging up, so I did have to travel with my visor a little bit open and I ended up getting frostbite on both my cheeks. This one's still healing. This one's completely healed. That was a bit cold, but it was good. It was daylight. Then on the way back, it was roughly about the same temperature, but it was windy like crazy and pitch black out. And on the way back, having a busy weekend in the city, I was tired already. And I had remembered the door latch of the townhouse is really sticky because it was freezing. And I'm thinking about this as I'm driving closer and closer to town. And I text John and I said, okay, look, if that lock is frozen, I'm done. You're going to have to come and pick me up. Just a little heads up because you're going to probably have to torch the truck on the lake just so that it can get going so you can come pick me up. And then an hour passed and I'm still driving back into town and he just ends up calling me. He's like, hey, do you just want me to come pick you up? I think he had kind of heard over my text message wife voice that I was kind of at the end of my rope and I didn't really like I was going to. I was going to pull up my big girl panties, get on the sled and get out here. But I didn't really want to so my wonderful husband got the truck started and met me in town so the trip there was kind of cold trip back was great because i had a chauffeur and then this week i'm not gonna lie it's been a hibernating week for me i don't know i'm just in like sloth mode i don't know if it's because busy weekend at the city or if it's because of the cold snap or a combination of a whole bunch of things but i'm just like I just want to wake up and stoke the stove so it's plus 30 in the cabin and teach my kids and make supper and that's it. So that's been kind of how this week's been going and because of that I've been kind of feeling like maybe this is going to be the week that I kind of take a break off YouTube and not do a video but I figured for those of you who really look forward to Sundays, family and friends, I'll just throw something out there. Uh, maybe I'll do a day in the life I don't know that would be kind of easier because then that would just be one day of filming maybe I'll do that one of these days this week we'll see what I get up to as you can see John has now started to plow this is the second plow trip I think the first one was just a wash because it was so windy we're gonna have a road out here now because the snow drifts are getting kind of hard and tricky to pass with the lifted truck so now we're gonna be plowing snow for the rest of the year Are you happy it's warmed up? Yeah? I've been a lazy grandma these last few days and sleeping in the house all day. I see a little person waiting for me to come inside. Forever watching out the window. Hi. Good morning. Watch your eyes. Hi. Camry wake you up? Yeah. Mm, good morning. Hi. Oh, silly puppy. <laughs> Jammy. I love your jammies. They're so beautiful. Yeah. You shaking a hand? Yeah. Not so nice. Oh, Daddy come to snuggle me. She just loves to snuggle. Oh. Mm. I love snuggle. Cam is so cozy. She is. Good morning, my girls. Hi, baby girls. It's morning time. Well, let's go make our porridge. Okay, Mom. met such a sucky dog and she takes everybody else down with her yes you do it's time to wake up quit keeping kids lazy 
Camry. Hey, popping up. some more o's pop all the o's oh 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 some more oh okay go ahead Oh, good thing we did the paper towel. It's not working though. Ah! <laughs> I hope it's not hot. Do you think it's hot? Touch it. Did it make fire? No, it just bubbles. It's making rain. Yeah. It's steaming though. I don't know. I don't think so. It might erect. Just do a little bit, Jade. I think yours is starting to expand. We're trying to make fake snow. Mine's, I could see mine. But the experiment book didn't tell us how much I see too. to add. Jade, add a little more. Oh, I think it's making fake snow. Jade's yeah, is working. Is. And mine, mine's already done. Is it? Could I add more? You think? Okay. And then we yeah, should go. Mine's already done. I did. Then we'll put it in a bowl and then let's go outside and collect snow and we'll compare it. How do they feel different? Now feel the real snow. The real snow is pretty good. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. The real snow is more sticky. It's sticking to you because you're warm. Marley, do you want to feel them? Yeah. Feel them. What? Fake snow and real snow. Cold. That one's cold. And that one's not cold. What? Cool. Ma 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 okay, they're making more. So we're in the middle of our lunch break and it was kind of cooling down in here. So I'm going to take this opportunity to ash my fire. I haven't ashed it yet this year. And as you can see, I'm losing a lot of prime real estate to ash. So I'm going to empty out as much of this as I can into my little trusty metal bucket. And then I'll have a lot more room for wood. So I haven't gotten it completely cleaned out, but I have allowed myself that much extra room for wood. Now I need to put this out on the deck for at least a day or two until all the little embers and coals die down before I go dump it in the bush somewhere. While well, our school day is starting to wind down, little people are up from their snooze. It's about 10 to 4. Jade has to do piano yet. Shale has to do splash learn on my phone, so I'm going to have to give that to her. And then the kids are going to head outside for recess. And I think while they're doing that, I might stay inside, tidy up, and make them some cookies. Here's my cookie helper. And here's my crazy kids outside playing in the wind. Where do you need it? I could fix it. Hey, Russell, where do you want me to put your GT? I'll put it on top of the GT and down the hill. Don't 
so cool. <laughs> Finally can slide. There's snow on the hill, kind of. Well, the chores are pretty much done for the evening. I just have to whip up some dishes, put on some supper. The kids are just kind of having some free time, relaxing. A couple kids are watching TV. They can use the screens right now because I'm gonna have to bump up the batteries anyway for nighttime, which I should probably put the generator out here pretty quick. But I'm gonna make up some supper and I will touch base with you guys in about an hour or so. Although we do technically have running water, I do prefer filling up my buckets and putting them on the top of the wood stove and using those for my hot water. For one, it's way faster and then I'm not putting anywhere in tear on my pump because now I'll put this bucket, while I'm doing dishes, I'll put this bucket in my bathtub and just let the water gravity feed from the upstairs tank. So I'm not putting anywhere in tear on anything. It's slow, but I mean, I'm doing dishes anyway. And then I just kind of keep my ear out for it and turn the valve off when it's full. We have a grocery order coming out tonight, so I'm going to do my honey a favor and bring the sled down to the bottom of the lake for him and hook the sleigh up. Because that's a heck of a lot easier than hauling those big boxes up the hill, which we've had to do up until this point because there hasn't been any snow. But he brought the sled out last night or the night before. So if it's at the top of the hill, I'm gonna take that as a clue that I could probably bring it back down and back up with groceries. I wonder how many times I'm going to have to stop to move toys. getting the sleigh out, it's parked, and turn the sled off and go back inside. Burr! I just sat down to watch The Little Mermaid with my little people. We're waiting for John to come out and I could hear the generator outside. Wang, 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 no gas. So I better get up and go fill that. It's nine o'clock and the kids and I are still patiently waiting for dad to come home. The kids don't have school tomorrow because it's chore day, so I'm letting them just push their bedtime quite a bit. He said the lake is pretty bad out there. The wind's blowing directly at him, so when he's plowing, he can't see anything and it just ices up the windshield and whatnot. The old road's completely gone, so it's gonna be a little while yet. We'll see if I can keep happy attitudes till he gets here. And it looks like one little person got her own jammies on. Oh no, is it a mess? Does mommy have to help? Hey, are you gonna go sleep in the drawer? No. <laughs> we'll climb in your bed. Time for a story and song for this little one. She's not making it till dad gets home tonight. Do you want mommy sing you a song? Yeah. What song? Get your arm out. What song? Tickle Owl. I don't know that one. Oh, the ticket song? Mm 
Okay. I got a ticket for the long way round. A bottle of whiskey for the way. And I sure would like some sweet company. And I'm leaving tomorrow. What do you say? When I'm gone. When I'm gone. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me by my hair, you're gonna miss me everywhere, oh, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. I got a ticket for the long way round, sets with the prettiest of views. We got mountains, it's got rivers, it's got sides to make you shiver, but it sure would be prettier with you. When I'm gone, when I'm gone, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me by my walk, you're gonna miss me by my talk. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone. I love you. <laughs> Have a good sleep, my baby. I'll be past the moon. At this point, I'm usually tucking all four kids in, but better go check all the commotion downstairs. This. Is Dad home? Yeah. Holy cow, big box of shreddies. Yay, groceries. Well, before it gets full of commotion around here, I'm gonna help unpack and get the rest of these three munchkins into bed. But that's a wrap for a day in the life of the guest life. We'll see you next time. Bye.